The Biden administration this week announced sweeping changes to public service loan forgiveness, PSLF, a key federal student loan forgiveness program that has been mired in problems and low approval rates since its inception. The result will be a significant expansion of the program that could ultimately benefit nearly 600 000 student loan borrowers, according to the Department of Education. Here's an overview of the new changes to the PSLF program, including who may be eligible and how to request relief. The Department of Education has indicated that under the new changes, payments made under any repayment plan can now count as a qualifying payment towards PSLF. Any prior payments made while working for a qualifying employer will count as a qualifying payment, regardless of loan type or repayment plan, said the Department of Education. Previously, only payments made under an income-driven repayment plan or the 10-year standard repayment plan could count as a qualifying payment. Payments made under extended repayment plans, graduated repayment plans, and other fixed or level plans with terms greater than 10 years were excluded. Importantly, the changes are retroactive to the creation of the PSLF program in October of 2007, but not before that date. So payments made prior to October of 2007 still cannot be counted towards PSLF. Most periods of non-payment including in-school deferments, hardship forbearances, and periods of default will still not count towards PSLF. The department is also relaxing PSLF criteria that restricted eligibility to payments made on direct federal student loans only. Payments made on other types of federal student loans, such as Perkins loans and older full program loans, have historically not counted as qualifying PSLF payments. Counting prior payments on additional types of loans will be particularly important for borrowers who have or had loans from the Federal Family Education Loan FFEL, program, wrote the Department of Education in its announcement.